Let's head to trending news from south of the border where 13,000 U.S. auto workers have stopped making vehicles going on strike today after union leaders and Detroit's three major car makers couldn't come to an agreement on pay. It's the first time in the 88-year history of the United Auto Workers that all three big companies are being targeted simultaneously. American auto workers are on the picket line at select plants in Michigan, Missouri and Ohio after the clock ticked past the midnight deadline to close the deal. Well, I got to look out for the people that are coming up behind me right now. We, we want to keep this place running and we want to keep Ford still strong, but we need to do what we need to do to keep it that way. I don't know how I'm going to survive, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be out here striking. We're going to be here as long as we can, you know, until we get until we get what we deserve. You know, it, it's time. We're ready for the strike to last as long as it takes. Uh, you know, these companies got to come to the pump for, the, for their workers. They want to call them family when it's when it's when it's when it's easy. But you know what? The proof's in the pudding. And you know what? They haven't been there. They haven't taken care of their workers. We went backwards in the last 16 years, backwards, while the CEOs gave themselves 40 percent pay increases in the last four years alone. Workers are demanding a 40 percent pay raise, a shorter work week without a reduction in pay, cost of living adjustments, and return of certain benefits. Demands the big three automakers say aren't realistic. We have a very compelling uh, offer on the table. Um, I'm very frustrated um, because I, I think we had an offer that resonates with our people. It's a historic offer. I have to say we've never seen what we've seen in 80 years of working with the UAW. The U.S. president weighing in today saying he understands workers' frustrations and saying record profits made by the big three are not being shared with workers. And the companies have made some significant offers. But I believe they should go further to ensure record corporate profits mean record contracts for the UAW. Let me say that again. Record corporate profits, which they have, should be shared by record contracts for the UAW. With 13,000 of the United Auto Workers 145,000 members on strike, North American consumers could feel an impact depending on how long the strike lasts. The longer it goes, the more likely dealership inventory will shrink. Industry experts also saying vehicle prices could go up and there could be delays in the delivery of parts and vehicles. Production will continue in Mexico and here in Canada, where Canadian auto workers are in bargaining talks with the big three as well, beginning with Ford. The pattern we secure at Ford will then be negotiated at General Motors and Stellantis. If I was to summarize the status of talks with Ford right now, I would say things are moving, but we are certainly not there yet. The union representing Canadian auto workers says it's assessing the impact of the American strike on Canadian operations. Because the Canadian and U.S. auto industries are so integrated, the UAW labor dispute, if there is one, will impact some or all of our Canadian facilities. Unifor's contract with Ford expires at midnight on September 18th, and negotiations with GM and Stellantis are on hold until a deal is reached with Ford.